Last Monday was Memorial Day and Roblox used to hold a sale on a weekend around Memorial Day. The last official Memorial Day sale was in 2019 and it didn't feature any new limiteds. Last weekend we saw what some people are saying was a Memorial Day sale and in this video we're going to be discussing what happened, what it means for limiteds and sales and whether or not I think there'll be more sales in the future. As I begin this video I want to mention that Roblox did not make any announcements saying that we are seeing a sale and for the vast majority of previous sales there was at least a tweet or a blog post. So because of this and a few other reasons that I'll discuss in this video, many people in the community are saying that what we saw last weekend was not a sale at all. But because I can't think of a better word to call it, I'm going to stick with calling it a sale in this video. Obviously because there was no official announcement, it's difficult to say exactly when the sale began because Roblox Roblox was making items limited anyway, but for this video I'm going to say it began on Friday the 27th and ended on Tuesday the 31st of May. This sale revolved around limited items, we didn't see any limited use, new items or discounted items during the sale. The sale began on the Friday with Roblox making two items in a series limited. This is the first time since Limited to Returned that two items in the same series have gone limited. The items were the Midsummer Cape and the Midsummer Pin, which were both on sale when they went limited. On the Saturday, which is day two, we saw three new limiteds. The day began with the Springtime Sword Pack going limited, which was an item that was off sale. We then saw the Blue Sparkle Time Bandana go limited, which was on sale worth 8,000 Robux. There are two other bandanas in the series which are still on sale now for the same price. I personally doubt they will go limited, but if you want to try a look, you can buy them. We then ended the day with the Tickets Tie going limited, which was an item sold in the 2016 Tixapalooza event. Day 3, which was the Sunday, began with the Blizzard Beast Mode bandana going limited. Like the Blue Sparkle Time bandana, it's the only item in the series to go limited and the two other bandanas remain off sale. We then saw an immortal sword go on sale for 10,000 Robux for 28 minutes before going limited straight after. This was very interesting as it allowed people with Robux to make a very large amount of quick profit and it was the first time this has happened since limiteds returned. Day 4, which was Memorial Day, saw the Silver Thorn Antlers go limited. In my opinion, this item going limited marks the end of classical sales and I'll discuss more about that later in the video. We then saw the big Silver Thorn Antlers go on sale for 25,000 Robux for 7 minutes and then go limited straight after. Day 4 then ended with Big Head going limited. On Tuesday, which could be seen as day 5, the DIY clockwork went on sale for about 30 minutes. After what happened with the Immortal Sword and the Big Silverthorn Antlers, many people bought this item expecting it to go limited. But instead, with one of the largest curveballs I've seen Roblox do all year, they took it off sale and then just made the Tixfalc limited instead. The Tixfalc is another item from the 2016 Tixapalooza event. As of recording this video, there hasn't been a new limited since. So now I'd like to go back to day 4 of this sale. Items such as the Silverthorn Antlers and the Big Head were items that you could only get during some sales and they were massively hyped because of that. These were some classic sale items and in my opinion the fact they have gone limited marks the end of classical sales. This is interesting to me as making something limited is irreversible. For people within Roblox to choose to make classical sale items limited shows to me that they've now decided to commit to UGC and the days of sales will soon be behind us. Items such as the big head would be the highlight of most sales. So seeing it go limited makes me pretty confident that within a few years Roblox will stop sales completely. And that combined with the fact they didn't even announce this sale makes me think they're already phasing it out. Although I'm very glad to see a sale, I think we need to remember what we used to be getting. If we had received this as a sale in 2016, I personally think there'd be outrage. Just because there hasn't been a sale in the last 2-3 to three years, I think the community has been softened in a way to just like and accept anything that we get. So although I think what we saw last weekend was a huge improvement to the sponsored limiteds we'd be getting before, it just doesn't compete with some of the old sales. And really when people talk about sales, that's what they're talking about. We're talking about the pre-2019 sales, which are quite nostalgic to a lot of us in the community. I'm very interested to see what you all think. 
Were you happy to see all the new limiteds last weekend? And do you think this is the beginning of the end of sales? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.